Welcome to the finals of this AI-only Rome Total War tournament. Here we are, the finals. These teams have battled their way through a single elimination bracket. Best of one, random armies, but now random armies and a best of three. Dacia versus Britain. Dacia had a very interesting run. First of all, going up against the Seleucid Empire, the one everyone thought would dominate. And somehow they got the win. And then they went up against, who was it? Oh, who was the other one? I can't remember who the other one was. Armenia, I think. Yeah, they went up against Armenia and they beat them as well to make it into the final. Very surprising run by Dacia. Certainly the underdog of this uh, full bracket. Then we have the British. They beat the Germans um, in a very, very close battle. They only just managed that one. Almost lost it. And then they beat Macedon. Britain's advantage is their chariots, which are very good at breaking enemy morale, which in an AI-only campaign is incredibly valuable. So, let's begin. Dacia, going for some cav, some archers, missile cav and two ballistas. What are we going to see from the British? A load of chariots again. They just like to spam chariots. Oof. Alright, let's begin. Who's going to win it? Let's find out. This is far from the final that I expected to see. If I'm being honest, I expected to see the Seleucid Empire versus Macedon. But no. Dacia versus the British. General marching forwards. Got to be very careful with your general, especially when going up against the British. If a general dies, plus those chariots, plus those head hurlers, they're not going to stand. They've got to be very careful. If they can keep their morale intact and deal with the chariots, they can win it. That's what they need to do. They've got siege equipment also. The British don't. Not the best siege equipment, but they have some. Cav marching forwards, got to be very careful with this. Yep, chariots get them on the side, and this cav unit's done, I bet. Yeah, they're done. Chased down by chariots, then they get picked off on the side there by some spears. Then they get charged into the back there, but... But then they get encircled. The general charging forwards, they broke. But he managed to actually break some swordsmen, which was good. Now get the general out of there. Nope, charging again, is he? Void those chariots as well. Void those chariots. Ah, oh, the Dacians already breaking. They're collapsing on all sides. The missile cav trying to do something. What are they even going for? They're going for the slingers. The head hurlers. That's what they're trying to take out. We've got some infantry on the infantry over here. They should need to get that win. They should need any win they can right now. They're getting kind of desperate. The chariots charging the general in the back. The Dacian general broke and died. He's done. And with that, the entire army collapses. Round one, I think, goes to the British. No doubt about it. Oh, Dacia made it so far, they fought so well. But that doesn't matter. Everything collapsed, they had no morale. No morale at all, the final Dacian unit, and it's gone. That's how it ends. Britain wins round one, but there's another match left to go. If Dacia can win that one, then it'll be the final decider game. Look at that kill difference there. 818 to 151. That was a very dominant performance by the British. If they even get half of that, they're going to win the next one. Alright, here we are again. Game 2. Same again. And, ooh, that's... First thing I saw was two barbarians. Right, a few Foutsmen. Oh, another bar... Oh, peasant. Peasant, sorry, not barbarians. Well, yeah, barbarians, yeah. I'm right. <laughs> but there's quite a lot of them there anywhere on, anywhere on both sides. Uh, two ballistas, again. This is almost identical to the last roster, I think. Almost identical. The British now going for less chariots, I believe. But a few more druids. 
Daisha needs to win it. And I think this roster's done a bit easier than the last one. Can they do it? Come on, Daisha. Oh, no, I was, I was wrong. Three ballistas this time. Three ballistas. Uh, I don't see that much of a use in them. Catapults, maybe the big onagers, but the ballistas... They just don't get the kills. Not usually, anyway. They might get a few picks. It's just not going to be enough, I don't think. Chariots on both flanks again. Not as bad, though, this time. Not as many chariots. Which means... Dacia might actually be able to win this one. Because that was the weakness last time. Going in, going in again with another early game cav charge. Dacia, don't do the same again. It didn't work last time. Why do you think it's going to work this time? At least they're actually charging in to them in a way rather than being caught on the side. They might actually be able to do it. They are killing a lot of chariots but taking a lot of losses. They lost the peasants but that's okay. They're only the peasants. Charge more cav in here, they're charging some spearmen onto the chariots. That's what you need to take them down, or missile units. Bring down the chariots and they can win it. And they did bring down one unit of chariots. They did manage to do it. They're done a break. Yeah, they lost a Foutsman unit. Over, the, over that side, Dacia seems fine. Chariots actually holding back. Oh, they lost a cav unit. We've got a lot of troops over here, the cavalry. For Dacia is taking out the Slingers. I send him a general in now to do the same. Hopefully he doesn't die again. You need to keep your general near your troops. Oh, but these chariots here are just routing everybody. This could be it. If Dacia loses, the British will be the winners. If Dacia wins, we go to a game three. But with everything collapsing in the centre for them... The ballista missing shots. Ah, oh, it hits a couple of chariots there, but overall it's missing most of its shots. The general over here fighting some swordsmen. It's not looking good for Dacia. More chariots charging in. The units are just collapsing. They've got really nothing to really deal with them right now. These are the missile units. They're gonna break soon. The, the general is okay. This is the British general though. If we can kill him, which I think we might actually be able to do. General there. If we can kill the general, they might be able to bring it back. They broke him, but didn't get the kill. And I don't think that's going to be enough. Chariots here fighting the Dacian general. He's done a fall again. Maybe, maybe. And he's gone. Dacia lose another general. And when up against the British, that's a detrimental blow. The chariots and the head hurlers just uh, collapse their morale completely. They're trying to charge into the backs of these swordsmen. I don't think it's going to work. They're still fighting in missile shot, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> I think it's over. Oh, they did break one British unit, but I don't think it's going to be enough. They have killed, I think, all of the chariots, or almost. Ah, never mind, I didn't see them there. Maybe not then, maybe not then. If they did, maybe they could do it as the morale penalty wouldn't be that bad. But they haven't. And they all collapsed there. They collapsed in here without even getting into combat. The final cav charge of Dacia, trying to take out some druids. But no, they're going to collapse too. Or maybe chant a little bit instead. There we go, they break. And now it's just the ballistas left. And some archers who returned. But I don't think they're gonna do it. Dacia, at long last, getting defeated. But they made it through to the grand final. You cannot deny Dacia had an incredible run there. You cannot deny that. There we go. And the ballistas have gone. Just these two arch units left. Oh, they returned. You cannot deny Dacia's brilliant run. Defeating both Armenia and the Seleucid Empire. Incredible. Incredible. But the British, they go through and they get the win. They won. They are the second AI-only tournament champion. Well done, Britain. Well done. Once, of course, they uh, clean it up, that is. We can triple speed it. Only a few units left. Really not that much more to see. It's just some skirmishers.
they'll break eventually. That was a slaughter. Well done, Britain, on getting the win. 970 kills to 550. Much better performance there by Dacia, but overall, still not great. Britain was definitely dominant in this series. But that is not all. There's one more match that I want to see. Because if you remember, this is the AI only tournament part 2. We've already had a part 1 with another 8 factions. And, spoiler alert, the winner of that one was the Egyptians. Egypt won part 1 and now we got the British as the winners of part 2. So, I think we got to put them together. We've got to have an extra special battle, a, a real finale to judge both tournaments. Who is going to win, the British or the Egyptians? Let's find out. Both a chariot army in a way, so this is going to be interesting. Egypt, here we are. Four chariots, two onagers, cav generals, more cav, and overall the usual Egyptian stuff. And the British, a lot more chariots, but less infantry. Who's going to get the win? Let's find out. This this hem is just going to be a best of one. Um, it's not going to be too serious. I wasn't going to do it at first. I don't have time to do the full best of three with this. Uh, overall, both factions have been brilliant in this. Very surprising. But let's see who's going to win. Just... Just for fun, just for fun. So, two very similar rosters right now. I believe morale advantage goes to the British. They've got more chariots and head hurlers, and I believe their chariots have fear. I don't know if the Egyptian chariots do that. I'm, I'm unsure. I think they do. I think they do. But I'm not 100% certain. They're sending a unit of chariots up now. Trying to get a few picks on the British chariots. They've got catapults as well. They're going to be interesting to see. But we might not see much of them because the Egyptians charging forwards right now. They're going all in. They might, the battle might start before the British are even in range. Because they're just running for it. Yeah, it's just going to be a chariot skirmish, nothing more. What's happening over here? Got to be careful with your calf. You don't want them getting caught by the chariots. And there goes the chariots. The Egyptians did not get a charge. And so the Egyptians die. There we go. They lost a cav unit. And hardly any kills. I think two kills there. Maybe three. That's, yeah, that's not what they wanted. Are the, are the catapults firing? Not yet. Are oh, those peasants broke? Not even in the battle and they're broke. That's what, that's the effect Britain has. That's what they do. And the Onager's not even in position yet. Ooh, not looking good. This is certainly looking in favour of the British. They lost a chariot squad there. Certainly in favour of the British right now. Right, they're getting ready for charging some infantry into there. But I think this, Egypt needs this. This is what they need. Good catapult shots. And they hit one. And they missed the other. They need those to really get a lot of good hits. If they want to win this. Yeah, otherwise their infantry. It's all going to break. They do have phalanxes though. Phalanxes could be very interesting. Oh, we're seeing some flaming shot now. Missed. Right, that one got a hit. The peasants trying to hold out over there. Everyone else for Egypt collapsing on the sides. Uh, they broke for British there. Uh, some chariot warfare going on. The, the Cav general charged through the middle. What is what is it with the AI and charging the Cav general into the middle when fighting against the British? Why does it always do that? He's gonna die. And that's gonna end the Egyptians if he dies. But the British general, he's been the one to collapse first. Okay, if they can keep their general alive, get that phalanx in there, they might be able to do it. But they lose their general. Both generals now dead. And I think that works in favour of the British. Yeah, that works in their favour. The 
the phalanxes. That's what they have to rely on right now. More catapult shots coming through. They're throwing their heads at the side. They get caught on the side. Ah, oh, that's not doing me good. And they break instantly. Instant break. Ah, oh, all of those have collapsed as well to, due to the chariots. This is it. This is the final real unit for Egypt. And I can't actually see it holding. I bet its morale is very low. Surrounded by chariots, head hurlers. Well, actually, there's no chariots nearby. Uh, the Egyptian chariots are actually doing a very good job. But they break and they die. And then it's... Yeah, it's just this and two catapults left. Which got friendly fire by hitting its own chariot. Stupid Egyptians. Oh, they've been caught. Can they do it? Can they hold out? Oh, they've got some camel archers. But I can't see camel archers doing much. The catapults have been silenced. And they've broken. Two phalanxes and chariot archers left. I think the British have this. I think they've won it. Depends on the, on the phalanxes though. Can they just hold out? I didn't know what that was then. Head hurlers throwing their heads in. That's gonna break them. Plus uh, units on the fat on the flank as well, about to charge in. Yeah, surely they should break soon. Surely. Right, in they come. Nope. Nah, we're just torturing them now. <laughs> They're fighting on the side though, which is really not good for them. I love how the head's coming, that's beautiful. And there they go. All units, I think, now have broken. Yeah, all the infantry, all what's left is some camel archers. That's it, that's all they've got left. Well done, Britain, for getting yet another win against the Egyptians this time. How many games have they actually won? They've won five games in this tournament. The only one to win five games and get zero losses. Well done, Britain. Well done. But Egypt put up a much better fight than Dacia did, I think. So yeah, I bet if it was Egypt versus Dacia, I think Egypt might beat, uh, might beat them and get the win. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this tournament. I certainly have. It's been fun. I don't know why, but it's fun seeing all the AI factions fight each other. It's also unique as well. No one's really ever done this before. So yeah, it's been fun, and I do plan to continue this series, but for other titles. I think Medieval 2 and Warhammer 2 could be very interesting games, uh, very interesting titles to explore into with AI-only tournaments. If you've enjoyed, please do like and subscribe if you want to get notified of more like this, and share with anyone you think may be interested. Remember, this weekend there's the Medieval 2 Total War multiplayer tournament, 1v1s. Saturday and Sunday at 1pm UK time, I'll be streaming a load of matches and also be giving away some keys as well, provided to me by the Creative Assembly. Should be good. There's copies of Rome 2 to win, there's copies of Attila to win, and copies of... Empire Divided DLC to win as well. So if you're interested in those, be there in the chat and there's a chance that you may win one. Also, get on my Discord, get on a team so that you can support um, a certain player whilst watching as well. Makes it so much more entertaining if you've got someone to cheer on, I think. Until the next one, goodbye. <laughs>